Hey, good evening, Trojans. It's Thursday afternoon, and I just wanted to give you just a quick video on Troy Student of the Month. We're starting it up again for October, and we'll run it all the way through May. So we've been doing for the last three years, and we're pretty. I'm pretty excited to get it going this year. And all you have to do as a classroom teacher, well, a few of you have to come up with two names, but 90% of you only have to come up with one name. I'm going to go to presentation mode. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So you're probably accessing this through the weekly updates. I'm hoping you're taking a look at this. And Troy Student of the Month. Okay, I'm going to go and shut my camera off. And you should see a spreadsheet. And you can see our four values that we use for Troy. These are our PBIS values together, respect, organize, and we use you interchangeably with this is about you this is all about you you belong here um, for the months of october um, what we're valuing is for together is being on track meaning you're attending you're engaging if you're doing those things you're turning in assignments you're probably on track to get your credit if you're participating in good things uh, whether as a, someone that shares or someone that claps or snaps however you guys do that uh, you encourage others, um, you're welcoming, you're kind, you follow the social contract that you help develop, and you work well in whole group, small groups, pairs, uh, individually. So those are some of the qualities you should be looking for. You probably already have some pretty good ideas on what student you're thinking of, but we're gonna go with one student. Uh, we don't wanna do more, and here's why, because I am at capacity. I believe Jen Skeel is capacity. So what I do, I put all the names on these certificates, so that takes time. And then Jen, Mel merges those. That's the right term. Yeah, Mel merges those to uh, letters that we send home to parents. And then she turns these all into PDFs, okay? And she alphabetizes these. So if you recognize a student with a last name starts with a T, you just scroll down to the T's and you can actually take that picture of the certificate, put it up on your screen and do a little celebration with your kids. And what's really cool is even though um, one of the students gets one of these per month in your class, all 25, 30 students in your class can be reinforced with the things that you're trying to achieve with being together. The next month, it'll be respectful. The following month, how you want kids to organize. And then um, we'll get to the last month in January and then we'll repeat it again. So that's kind of that. And when you go to the October sheet, you'll see the deadline on the tab. And I've got it all by department. I mean, we can sort it by teacher. And let's go to Hannah Hardison, because I know she's at the top of that. So you'll notice Hannah has two places on there. She has one for Apollo House, and she has one as an English teacher. So she'll actually get to submit two. Most teachers, if you're not in Spear or a house, you'll get to submit one. So just kind of stick to that. But definitely every month, submit one. If you're thinking of two or three kids, just save those names for later, okay? And then you can add those later on if the kids are doing a great job, more than likely they are. The next tab, it's locked, it's from last year. And what I do, I keep track of which kids, which of our students actually get student of the month. And then I share that with you through this and that way you can make sure not too many kids are getting repeaters. Um, not that kids don't deserve to get repeated as student of the month, but maybe spread the wealth a little bit. We're trying to show kids we value them all academically, behaviorally, social, emotionally. But last year, even during a COVID year, we were able to recognize 511 different students. That's pretty cool when you think about it. And then after we're done with that month, then I'll start sending out reminders for November and we'll go through it again. But that's just, that's 10 more celebrations each of you can have in class. And I think it's valuable and I think it's going to add to your school community. And anytime we can tell students are doing a great job, that's a great day. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and listening.